Okay, on number 47, we're buying something. And I want to talk about something a little bit. Um, original price of the shirt is $8.50. It's discounted 55%. Obviously, it's on clearance. And then it's taxed 5%. So technically it's just half off? No, 55 isn't half. Okay, so it's 850 to begin with. If you are, let's say, something's always 100% at the beginning, right? So if you have a discount of 55%, how much are you going to spend out of that original 100%? How much are you going to spend? How much are you going to pay? If you've got a 55% discount, 45. you're going to pay 45. So there's two ways to do this problem. There's calculating the 45% and subtracting it from the $8.50, or calculating the 45% and knowing that's what you're going to pay. So, so you can do $8.50 minus 45% getting that number, and then adding 5% tax. Or you can do 850 times 55%, which is what you're going to pay. That's the sale price. And then adding 5%. And then you don't have to do that extra problem of subtracting. Because you also have to multiply 40 by 45% to get that number that you're going to have to subtract. So on this one, let's try 850 times, well, let's think about this. What's half of 850? Uh, what, 40, 4? 425. 425. So that's 50% is 425. Okay. What's 5%? 420? Mm -hmm. Move the, uh, move the decimal. 425? Uh, okay. 42. 42. 42 and a half cents. So are we going to charge 42 and a half or 43? 43. Okay. 43 cents is another 5%. Did we just calculate how much we're going to pay for that shirt? We're only going to pay four dollars and sixty-eight cents for our shirt. Did we figure it out without having to play decimal games? Other than oh, five percent has to be forty-two and a half cents. If fifty percent was four dollars and twenty-five cents. Okay. Now let's figure out five percent of this. Let's do it with decimals. We're going to multiply eight times five. Forty. Forty. Oh, wait. I'm going to do it yet another way. Are we going to have to pay that $4.68 to take that shirt out of the store? No. Are we going to have to pay for the shirt in addition to the tax? Yes. yes. Yeah. How much of that are we going to have to pay of the $4.68? 5%. All of it? We're going to have to pay all of that $4.68 plus 5% more, aren't we? Yeah. We'll have to pay 100% of that $4.68 plus 5% more. So we're going to pay 105% of our final sale price, aren't we? Yes. To walk out the door. 100% is the new sale price, and 5% is the tax. This way we only have to do two calculations. What's 8 times 5? 40. 6 times 5? 30. 30 plus 4. 4 times 5? 20 plus 3. Okay, nothing? with the next decimal. And then here, 468, because it's times 1, 0, 4, 11, 4. How many decimal places? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Excellent. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 491 and 4 tenths. So how much are we going to pay walking out the door? Four. $4.91. $4.91. And four tenths, but 
We don't have four tenths. We barely have pennies anymore. Did you see how we had to pay 100% plus 5% tax? You can do these entire calculations in two parts instead of four. That's a shortcut. Not a shortcut. It actually, the less math problems you have to do, are you going to make more or fewer mistakes with fewer math problems? Fewer, fewer mistakes, right? 